Hello and welcome to a new video on my channel. Uh, I have been uploading recently actually, that England save, which has not been uploaded in a little while. But it doesn't matter about that. Um, <laughs> today I'm joined by Josh. Hi guys. You seem sounds really enthusiastic. And we're doing the Shut World up. Cup predictions 2018. We're doing the whole group stage, but only two groups each uh, video. Uh, yep. So that it is... Uh, all right for you guys, and you can watch through it, and not uh, watch someone have like a twenty long, twenty minute long video saying scores. Very true. So, Very uh, true. Bit, bit more quick pace. So let's get right into it. First game is is the grand opening of the World Cup. It is two hmm. massive teams, Russia and Saudi Arabia. Oh, it's just oil versus like corruption. So. <laughs> I mean, you're, it's truth. Mm. So I think it's going to be a bit of a cagey affair. don't think it's going to be much exciting about. So I'm going for a 1-0 Russian win. Do you know what? I think I've got to agree with you there. Okay, so Josh is going for 1-0 as well. Right, the next game, uh, which is on the next day, Friday, uh, is, is a bit more interesting. Egypt, Uruguay. Now, Egypt, mm. of course, Salah. Uh, I think they have some decent players, but Salah is obviously their main player. Uruguay yeah. are probably the favourite of the group. They've got Suarez, Cavani, Godin, Jimenez. They've got they've got some cracking players. So, so I think I'm going to go 2-1 Uruguay. I'm going to go 3-0 Uruguay. Oh, you're going for a big game. Big, as much as Egypt has got a good a good few players, they haven't got defence. So no, that's my thing. I mean, they're right. only world class players, Salah. Salah, and he's an attacker, and attackers can't defend, we all know that. So, yeah. So, um, obviously, uh, we're doing, oh, I forgot to say, but I'm doing the whole, we're doing whole of Group A and whole of Group B. So, obviously, a few days later, 19th of June, Russia, are at, well, at home, are playing Egypt. And it's going to be an, uh, mm. a bit of a dull affair, so I'm yeah. going to go for... Even though Russia are home, I'm going to go for an Egypt 1-0 win. I'm going to go for a 1-0. One 1-0, all. One all, yeah. I can see a 1-0. I can see a nice little fair draw. Yeah. Alright, so the next game, uh, which happens the next day, uh, is Uruguay and Saudi Arabia. I mean, mm. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Uruguay win. I think they'll they'll batter Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I don't know any Saudi Arabian player, so... I know, I know of a few, but they're not very good. Uh, I'm going to go 2-0. Just because I know that they've got a defender that's gold in foot. In foot so. That's the base of our knowledge, FIFA. Yeah, basically. <laughs> right, so then, uh, on uh, 25th of June, Monday, Saudi Arabia are playing Egypt. Oh, um, OK. So, through our guesses, currently, Egypt for me has three points, and Egypt for Josh... Has one point. And Saudi Arabia has zero points. I could definitely see Egypt coming out with a win. Yeah. Maybe 2 1. I'll go 2 0, uh, Egypt. Hmm. Right, uh, so that puts Egypt for me on six points and second. Um, and uh, for Josh, that puts him on four points. Uh, depending on what. He does for this game. Uruguay, Russia. I'm going to assume you're going for a Uruguay win. I am. I think it's going to be quite tight. But I'm actually I'm going to go for a 2-1 a Uruguay win. Okay. I'm going to say that there's going to be a little bit of goals fest in this game. Alright. And I'm going to go 3-2 Uruguay. Alright. Okay, so based on our predictions of the Group A, uh, a Uruguay top our groups, with the, they've won all three games. Uh, Egypt, for me, are second with six points. Russia with three and Saudi bottom with zero. Uh, no draws in mine. Uh, for Josh, Egypt and Russia have both got four four points. But due to goal difference, Russia will go through based on Josh's predictions. So that's uh, Group A. Uh, now Group B. And the first game of that is on Friday, and it, again, it's two massive titans of the game, uh, Morocco and Iran. Don't think you can get much bigger than that, Jeff. So, I'm going to say it right now, 
I know a couple players uh, for each side. I can't name them off the top of my head. Figuli. I oh, know he's Algerian, isn't he? Whatever. Yeah, what well, I'm going to go one one. Uh, yeah, oh, no. one one. I'm going to go for a pretty dull affair. I'm going to go nil nil. Okay. Yeah. So best for draw, Sam. Yeah. Right, and then the first actual. I mean, I mean, Uruguay, Egypt, and the second game is really good as well. I'm quite interested in that, unfortunately. A bit of school, but um. <laughs> Uh, but the first game that I'm able to see fully and um, is amazing, Portugal Spain. Oh, that's going to be a matchup of two titans there. I mean, that is that is something. Although it's going to be a quality game. Spain in the last World Cup, they got knocked out pretty early, so. Yeah, and uh, I mean Portugal didn't do anything in the last World Cup, but Euros they obviously won the Euros. They drew most of their games. So I think I'm. I mean, Spain looking quite good, but I'm gonna go a two-two draw. I think it's gonna be a good game, but I can't see, I can't see a win between these two. I could see a good game, although I can see. I, I can only see the winner of being Spain, to be honest. Okay. I reckon it'll be. I reckon I'm gonna make an in-depth uh, decision here and say Analysis. that Ronaldo is gonna get a, a horrible penalty that shouldn't have been a penalty because he dived. And yeah. it's going to be 2-1 to Spain. Yeah. So. Right. Josh making a bold statement, but I'm probably quite an accurate one. <laughs> yeah. Right, so the next game uh, is Wednesday the 20th of June, and that's Portugal versus Morocco. Mm. Now, I'm going to go for... I think it's going to be quite tight, actually, but I am going to go for a Portugal 2-1 win. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Portugal. I was thinking that, but I thought... Mm. Right, uh, the next game, Iran, Spain. Um, right, I'm gonna go four 0 Spain. I'm just gonna put it out there. Yeah, I think I think I might join you there. Play two four nil Spain. Right, and then Iran, Portugal. Mm. I uh, think I'm gonna go for another two one win actually for Portugal. I'm gonna go two nil win for Portugal. And then the final game of this group, Spain, Morocco. I mean, mm. for me, I'm gonna go for a simple two nil. Or to Spain, obviously. I would say that Spain are going to struggle a little bit and go for a 1-0 just because they couldn't get get their goals off the bat. I think yeah, that's how they're going to score. They defended too much, Morocco. Yeah. Right, so uh, that sums up uh, the first episode. I'm just going to go over Group B. So uh, Portugal have seven points and so do Spain, but Spain have a better goal difference on both our predictions, uh, I believe. Oh, actually... Oh, oh, oh. I don't really know what happens here. So you've gone 4 0, 1 0. Okay, well, Josh's, uh, Portugal have the same points and the same goal difference. Uh, so it goes on most goals scored. And, uh, well, that's. A, I, I literally have no idea what happens with Josh. But it, it doesn't matter. For both our predictions, Spain and Portugal go through. <laughs> uh, for me, it's Spain first, Portugal um, second. Uh, I don't really care about Morocco or Iran. For Josh, I don't know. Because same goal difference, same goal scored, same goals conceded, same points, same everything. Uh, do you reckon if he so gets to that point, they have to like a face off match? Just like, or, no, <laughs> like no, no. it'll yeah. probably be alphabet, I assume. So it'll be uh, Portugal. Portugal. Which would be very harsh in Spain. It would be very harsh in Spain, because that's, that's just mean. Uh, oh well. But. Um, uh, thank you for watching uh, this video, guys. Thank and you uh, we'll see you in the next video World Cup Group C and Group D. Adios. See you there. Bye.